Blender tutorial webcam as texture in Blender game engine okay I've just opened Blender and it's in defaults uh, so I'm gonna set it to Blender game press N and uh, change the shading to GLSL um, just get rid of that uh, go into the viewport shading uh, set it as texture so I can see what I do okay so the default box is uh, selected I'm just going to go into its uh, texture here add a image or movie and what it's going to be is just a default PNG that I created earlier on my desktop and it's called video layer PNG there it is and we can sort of see it there it is no it's called video layer PNG because that's uh, how I'm going to re re reference it go in go down here now uh, I'm going to open up the text editor and I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it video layer dot py I'm going to cut and paste from uh, the notepad that I created earlier and actually can you see everything yes so I'll leave that there for a second so that you can you know freeze the video if you want I'm going to copy that go back into blender and I'm going to paste that in there so we can see it <coughs> now that's the PNG there IM is something the blender needs to find it and this is the uh, the guts here that means the device zero and this is a Windows thing if I had two cameras I could probably go zero or one or even have two video layers I haven't tested that yet and, and uh, I just need that as well and that works for me <coughs> so if I press play I'm pretty sure I can press play now nope ah that's right okay that's done now I have to do the logic editor the logic editor uh, now okay so I've got the cube selected so I can see that here so the cube logic add a sensor and always sensor controllers add a Python controller now the script will be the video layer dot py that I created a second ago over here on the always sensor select true activation so it just triggers all the time now I'll join them up now I press play <laughs> there it is look at that that cam as a in blender the game engine it's pretty neat. I'm gonna keep for a moment a little bit of fun just so I can do escape that um, okay so just press 7 there to go to top mode I'm gonna just widen it so size X actually I'm gonna go into the camera camera view here and the camera's uh, angles wrong so I'm gonna Put the cursor to the center. Put the selection to the cursor, uh, which is the camera. So I'm right in the middle now. I'm just going to make myself GZ. Uh, so lift myself up a bit, a bit higher. I'm just going to change the these ones here, these rotations to zero, a zero, and zero. So I'm looking right down on it. Okay. So now I'm just going to go zoom out a little bit more. 
sometimes. GZ, there we go. Now I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to fit that a bit better to the screen. Size X. Sorry, wrong one. Select the box. Size X and size Y. Okay, it's a bit better. So if I just press play now, that's in the that's in the camera view. So if I just look at the scene, the camera is right on top of that. So let's go back. Now I'm going to add. Uh, actually, this isn't important. Well, if the um, if I make it shadeless, it improve, improves the the uh, the brightness because it's not applying um, you know, any specular or anything. Let's try it out. Yeah, much better. Hmm, seems to have frozen. There we go. Let's focus. Yeah, that's good. Now let's uh, add a um, an overlay. So, uh, which we can use for text. Okay, cursor to center. Add a new plane. Uh, I'll just lift it up so it's in between the camera and the object. I'll go back to camera view and I'll just size it a little bit. Size X so it sort of stays in proportion. So it's about there. Okay, now I'm going to add a new uh, material to it and I'm going to add a new texture. And the texture is going to be something that I prepared earlier. It's an image or movie. I'll open it. I'll find it. And it's called overlay.png. And there we go. It's got Sean Wazir written in it. Now, it's a, it's got an alpha layer. So I want to use it. Anyway, so that's selected. I'm just going to press that as well. Because I need it. I need that on. That needs to be one. that is everything on that page. Now I'm going to go to the material editor um, I'm going to just deselect the options transparency and have alpha here as zero means I can see what's behind it. Now if I try that again there we go, I've got no just there or just Come on webcam. It takes it takes a few seconds to kick in. Alright. Um now I'll turn physics off, I don't need that. Let's have a look at the standalone. Go full screen. Set the focus about there. That's pretty good. Um, that there. Oh God, that's tricky, isn't it? Is an over a graphic, and I might show you that stuff. Changes sizes. It's a bit like this. 